I'd like to say that uh, we have learned a lot from the COVID pandemic and uh, probably to also just confirm that uh, we really need to have a strong preparedness uh, mechanism uh, so that uh, we can be able to deal with some of these public health emergencies. What I'd like to emphasize is the fact that uh, whereas some of the previous pandemics, I think we have even been able to use the available data uh, to estimate that pandemics will keep on coming at 100 year cycles. But uh, this is before the globalization uh, that we are experiencing today. You'll realize that uh, today the world, the globe, has, actually the world has been turned into a global village. Today someone can have breakfast in New York, have lunch in Europe, and have dinner in uh, Nairobi. So you'll find that uh, if we are having communicable diseases, these diseases can travel around the world several times over within uh, one day. So it is important for us to be prepared for the next pandemic, which will definitely come much, much sooner, not, uh, you know, not even just sooner, but much sooner uh, than the 100 years that we are talking about. So what have we done? I think uh, for us, the COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic has taught us a lot. Uh, currently, we have uh, established a National Public Health Institute, uh, which is going to lead and coordinate public health functions in Kenya. So that by the time another pandemic of the magnitude of COVID-19 strikes, we will be much better prepared. And in uh, agreeing with uh, my colleague, uh, we will be much better prepared for it so that immediately we detect it, we are able to contain it at source and we don't have as many casualties as uh, we, you know, we have seen with this uh, particular pandemic. Number two, we are actually, uh, and I want to agree with my colleague that data is very important and uh, we are putting a lot of emphasis on the use of data to be able to predict and to plan and to make decisions with regard to public health emergencies. So that uh, next time, instead of uh, shutting down sections of the country, we will probably be better informed to be able to shut down, you know, with a better precision. Uh, because this time, if we had the kind of data that we are generating today, probably we might have uh, allowed a little bit more space uh, for movement. But in public health, we do not have uh, the legacy to be able to wait until we lose lives before we act. And uh, my colleague has given very good data, which uh, I can say we are now collecting even here uh, to be able to use uh, to make such decisions. We will be able to engage the public uh, much uh, faster. You have been able to see that every single day we are collecting information about the cases of COVID-19. And uh, every day without fail, because uh, there is a lot of work that is going in. It's not that uh, we are now uh, just sleeping on the job and waiting for easy solutions. We are actually, teams are out there every day without fail. I receive a notification of how many people have been tested for COVID, how many are positive at one o'clock on the dot. Today I've already received uh, that information because our teams are out there collecting data which we can be able to use to be better prepared next time. Another thing that uh, we are going to be able to do much more effectively, which we are already doing, is uh, engaging the community in what we call risk uh, communication and community engagement, RCCE, uh, which is of course uh, dependent quite a bit on data. We have improved our capacity uh, for ICU beds, I've said that. We have improved our capacity, you know, significantly for oxygen capacity and needs. We have improved our ability uh, to conduct laboratory tests. We are now able to conduct some of the most sophisticated laboratory tests, including uh, genomic sequencing, which was not available at the onset of the COVID-19. Today, even if we have another variant that comes in, we will be able to detect it very fast and we will be able to confirm that this is a different uh, variant so that we can be able to report on it. So I think uh, generally in agreement uh, with my colleague, we are doing much more and uh, we are getting better prepared for the next pandemic, which will come much sooner than uh, we expect. Thank you and back to you.